when we look at the night sky, we see countless stars and imagine them to be like our sun but light years away. While many of the stars are indeed like our sun, there exist quite a few different types of stars, differing from each other in size, temperature, and color. Out there in space, there are some stars that are so huge that our sun would look like a speck of sand in front of them. And then there are stars that are so small they are barely bigger than Jupiter. These small stars are known as red dwarf stars. Red dwarf stars, like all other main sequence stars, are born in stellar nebulae. The stellar nebulae are giant clouds of dust and gas held together by gravity. What starts the inception of stars is that in these clouds, gravity amasses the gases and dust together into balls. These balls now with a gravity of their own, start pulling in more and more matter and keep growing in size. Soon they reach the point where the density, gravity, and heat of these balls are enough to ignite the fusion reaction of hydrogen in their core. This turns these spheres into burning balls of gases that we know as stars. Red dwarf stars are stars that usually have only 7% to 50% of the mass of our sun. These stars are one of the most common types of stars and make up more than 70% of all the stars. As a matter of fact, of about 30 nearest stars to us, almost 20 of them are red dwarf stars. Even though these stars are present in such abundance, we can't really observe them with naked eyes. These stars are extremely small they are the smallest that a star can be while being viable. They are almost the size of the larger planets like Jupiter. And these stars burn very dimly too. Ordinary main sequence stars burn hydrogen in the fusion reaction and store the produced helium in their core. But unlike them, the red dwarf stars do not accumulate helium in their core. Rather, on the inside of the red dwarf star, because of their small size, convection takes place. This allows for the movement of hydrogen and helium throughout the body of the star. This results in a process of generation of energy that is much slower and much more prolonged. Hence, red dwarf stars burn dim. But there's an upside to it as well. This special characteristic of red dwarf stars gives them an extraordinarily long life. While the other stars like our sun would live for another 5 to 6 billion years, red dwarf stars have a lifespan of trillions of years. So basically, red dwarf stars would outlive every other star in the universe and be the only source of energy and light in the far-off end of the universe's timeline. And all the red dwarf stars in the known universe presently are only in their infancy. Feel old yet? Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel, Explified.